that was intense. Uh, as most people know, that was a scene from the movie Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, where Tom Cruise scales the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which is the tallest building in the world. I was born in Dubai, I grew up there, and I spent most of my life there before moving to the States a few years ago. I saw the Burj Khalifa under construction and I saw it rise out of the desert. And if any of you have visited it, you know that it's just as impressive in person as it seems to be in photos. Whether you're driving down Sheikh Zayed Road, walking around downtown Dubai, or viewing it from any of the neighboring buildings, it is always gleaming. It always looks spotless and that just makes it so much more impactful. So how do you keep the windows on the tallest building in the world clean? The answer is with old-fashioned, year-round manual labor. The Burj Khalifa is 2,717 feet or 828 meters to the top of its spire and 2,722 feet or 829.8 meters to the top of its antenna. It has 24,348 windows, totaling 1 million 290,000 square feet or 120,000 square meters of glass, which is approximately the size of 22 football fields or 17 soccer fields. I'm trying to please both sides of the Atlantic here. Anyway, the windows of the Burj Khalifa are cleaned with several different methods, all designed by the Australian company Cox Gommel. From the ground level up to level 73, the building doesn't have many terraces or available roof areas, so the company came up with an ingenious solution. A panel of glass rotates and a maintenance unit that was parked inside the building emerges. It slides along stainless steel monorails, which allows the window cleaners to reach all the windows on the lower levels. The cradle is attached to these maintenance units, which either drops straight down or extends outward to an impressive distance. From level 73 to level 168, many terraces are accessible, so they use traditional davits or cradles to access these windows. The cradles can descend 1,430 feet or 436 meters. As the cradle descends, the crew locks into the building using an integrated restraint system as a safety measure. On tier 19, which is part of the Burj Khalifa spire, large telescopic knuckle machines are used to extend the cradle out. This allows workers to clean the spire. In addition to all these systems, the Burj Khalifa has also cleaned the old-fashioned way, with men locked onto tension ropes abseiling down the skyscraper. It's a dangerous job which has earned the window cleaning team the nickname Men of Steel. Under normal conditions, it takes 36 workers three to four months to clean the entire exterior and they clean it four times a year, which means that they are constantly working on it. The official Burj Khalifa page on Twitter released this video a year ago showcasing their window cleaning heroes, which makes me wonder if they have stopped using their Cox Gommel integrated system and switched to just using manual labor. From what I've researched, they choose to clean the tower with a team of up to 120 men tied to ropes because it is faster than having just two men in a basket or a cradle. And I think this is the essence of the problem. You have this beautiful, record-breaking, state-of-the-art building that's been cleaned with a bucket and a squeegee. There's a huge disconnect when it comes to the act of keeping a building's windows clean. Advances in automation in the building construction industry are contrasted by the act of abseiling window cleaning that is decades old. Now there are some robotic window cleaners out there like the Hobot 298, the Bobot Win 660 and the Fengri and the Ecovacs etc. But they are good for small scale residential use, not for large skyscrapers. It's not as fast as cleaning in manually and they must be plugged into a power source. 
I have found one company that has made huge advances in this field of robotic window cleaning. It's called Skyline Robotics. It was started by two Israeli entrepreneurs who believed that no salary could justify allowing people to strap themselves into metal scaffolds and put their lives in the hands of a system of ropes and harnesses. Their robot, called the Osmo, cleans windows without using any chemicals and detergents through its reverse osmosis technology. It creates highly purified water free from contaminants and minerals and dissolves dust, oils, stains, leaving the windows spotless. The Osmo robot has recently completed cleaning a skyscraper in Tel Aviv. Now, the likelihood of an Israeli company cleaning Dubai or even the UAE skyscrapers is iffy, but just imagine how efficient and cost-effective it could be for the country. The UAE has hundreds of skyscrapers and high-rise buildings. I hope more companies like Skyline Robotics pop up with working solutions to this issue of cleaning skyscrapers that always seems to be ignored. If you know of any companies in this sector, leave me a comment below uh, with your details. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.